Hey, welcome back to the Happy Place Diaries. I'm Jerry, and we're going to do kind of a crappy video this time. We're talking about what I'm sitting on. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one because it's probably one of the most important parts of maintenance that you will do on your rig, aside from, you know, like wheels falling off. Anyway, stick around. We're going to get crappy here. Hey, welcome back. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you with us. In this video, we are going to be talking about our toilet. And we have uh, two toilets here in our Montana uh, 3761FL. Key component to RV toilets is the way that they function. And you want to make sure that they are functioning properly or you can have some serious problems down the road, so to speak. Anyway, we're having an issue with our toilet here in our master bath. And the issue isn't catastrophic and it's a super easy fix. It's just not holding water. Let me show you what I mean. So here we are in our half bath and you can see that there is water sitting right down here in the bowl. That is a good thing. See, what that water does is it kind of acts as a seal on top of the seal and it keeps odors from coming, you know, back out. Because when you think about your RV toilet, the RV toilet basically is just a hole. And when you do what you got to do, it goes down to that hole and sits in the tank. Unlike your residential toilet where... You know, it goes and it goes through the the P-trap behind and then it flushes down into city sewer. Anything that goes down in that hole stays in that hole until you evacuate it using your valves. So if you don't have a little bit of water sitting on top of that seal, well, everything that's down in that holding tank is coming up into your bedroom, bathroom, whatever, and you're going to get odors. Not only that, but and this is the way we discovered the problem. We started getting like fruit flies and they were coming out of the toilet. So they were down in the tank. Everything was dry down there and there was probably some waste. And uh, then I opened up this toilet and noticed that it is bone dry. As you can see, there's no water there. Now there's toilet uh, seal treatments that you can use and that's fine, we, we did that with this and that is why we know we need to replace the seal or we need to get in there and do a really good clean of that seal because this didn't stop the problem. So before we go any further, it's time to put some gloves on because I don't know what's in that. Anyway, let's go down here. Way closer than I want to be to this, but before we go on, I should tell you that this is the Dometic uh, 310 porcelain toilet. Came stock, but uh, it's the one that we had in our old rig too. And no matter what you got, the seal is going to be pretty much the same. Uh, the Thetford, I think you have to take the bowl off to get to the seal. I don't know, we've never had one. But with the Dometic, basically all I got to do is reach in and grab the seal and it's gonna pop right out. Now, just a word of caution, make sure that uh, when you do this, you get a grip on it because you don't want the seal to fall down in there. So basically, I'm just gonna open up the, the valve, reach in here, and the seal should pop right out. And there it is. This, this valve that you step on and it opens, uh, it's kind of shaped like a ball. And it's a good idea to inspect it, and make sure that, um, you know, that there's no cracks or anything. Remember, our issue is that it's not retaining water. So either you have a bad seal or 
uh, it's dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this off and then we're gonna reinstall it. And then we're gonna see if that's the problem or if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't fix the problem, then we'll just go down and get a new seal and pop it right in. Now I used a little bit of Simple Green. Uh, it's a good, good all-purpose cleaner, and it's not really gonna. This amount isn't going to do anything to your tank, but uh, yeah. Okay, and we're gonna clean it out real good. Clean this groove right here, really good. And then we're gonna reinstall it. Okay, again, just a nice light coat of this grease, the silicone grease. We want to get that on both sides there. Get it down in that groove. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and pop it back in. Press it, make sure that it's down in that groove there. Okay, now we're gonna add water and we're gonna see if it holds. Okay, that's holding water. I think we fixed our problem. So if you start smelling odors and you start seeing like little fruit flies or whatever, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be that seal. And it's a super easy replacement. Get some of that silicone grease on hand so you can seal up your deal. You seal up the, uh, the, the gasket or the valve and um, and then before you get done, push it up there and make sure that it's actually seated in there. And I think that will solve your, your problem of your tank not holding water. Uh, super important, important part of maintenance. And um, hope you got something out of the video. And we'll see you in the next one.